Hey guys, Solomon here. Welcome to the story finale of Let's Play Pam's Harbor Rainbow Rescue. Today, we are going to turn over the final color ingredient and repair uh, Bo's magic umbrella. So that's it, we've done it. Hurrah! And everyone's here too. And yeah, Howdy was behind it all along. Uh, yeah, right, boss. You were catching on in the end, but I don't think you were uh, any the wiser earlier. Oh, well, no would he come back this time, just a stark interruption. Alright then, let's do it. Final color. So, this will make, uh, color number seven. The final color. Yeah, I have to say this was kind of a fun journey. Alright, this is it. The final color. Into the umbrella. And we get special music. Hurrah! Hurrah, the finished umbrella. Looks beautiful. The final color. And we have happy music playing. Hurrah. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, um, what's gonna happen? Are you just gonna bash your parasol over the skies or something? Or you're going to spin it really, really fast? Oh, he's firing a rainbow laser beam. How nice. Oh wow, it actually worked! Huzzah! Ooh, how pretty. Oh, there's a station connected to Rainbow Land? You mean they're tell- you tell- eh. You're telling me there's a train in the sky that you have to take a rainbow to reach? Aw, oh, how touching. Well, this is it. Goodbye, and so long. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, I guess he can come back. Alright, I guess we get to send him off. In style. On the rainbow. Yeah, we're gonna climb all over the rainbow, because, well, we went through all the trouble to make it, so why not? I suppose technically we, uh, own it. How'd Snoozer get up there already? What, can he fly now? Or maybe he knew how to make rainbows all along. I really don't know. In any case, now it is time for the credit sequence. And the ending for Hamtaro, Rainbow Rescue. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking. You're probably thinking, now is the time for Solomon Star Review. And that's actually not the case. Um, because the thing is, with this game, there's still quite a bit left to do, so I can't say we've completed the game enough to actually be ready to uh, do a review on it yet. Um, and the other thing is that um, I still want a little more time to write up the review because, well, as you probably recall, in the very beginning of this uh, Let's Play, I... Be kind of BS the game quite a bit because it was nothing like uh, Ham Ham Unite and Ham Ham Heartbreak, and in a sense, it I was right. It, this is definitely a very strong change from the past games of the Ham Taro series, uh, where everything was mainly uh, well, one game system where you had like Ham Chad and a bunch of interaction and stuff like that. This game was more focused around uh, mini games and all sorts of other stuff. So. In that, re in that respect, this game is much different. But, on the other hand, I'm thinking I'm be I was a little cruel on the game, because, well, to put a long story short, playing through this game as a Let's Play has given me a sort of new respect for it. Honestly, in its own right, it is a good game. I, I have to say I was kind of blinded at first by my own bias towards the game, so I suppose it's not the worst game in the series. In fact, I actually had a lot of fun playing it. It's just, I'm, it's just a really big change from, uh, the, the last two games. So, uh, uh, I suppose the same could be said if, like, with some of the Final Fantasy games. I could, pro we, I could probably safely say that when you had some of the other Final Fantasy games that came out at their time, like, Final Fantasy VI, I, I think that's the game that introduced the active time battle, uh, element that's now a little more prevalent in Final Fantasy games. 
I mean, before then, it was all, uh, turn-based battles, and not, um, active time, so that probably came as a pretty, st uh, radical change as well in its own way, so, yeah, in that retrospect, I, I really do think I was kind of unfair to the game, because I had such expectations that it would be the exact same as Rainbow Rescue, well, oh, not Rainbow Rescue, um, Ham Taro, Ham Ham Unite, and Ham Ham Heartbreak, so... To that extent, I'm going to need more time to write, write the review in an unbiased sense. And yeah, so there you go. So we're writing the Rainbow Express from uh, one end of the world to the other. How you like that? And we're pulling into the station, so now we get to look at Rainbow Land. Alright. And, uh, yeah, there was a bunch of stuff I could have probably commented on, little things along the way, but, eh, oh well. So, it looks like everyone's having a lot of fun. Here's Sandy and, uh, Maxwell. <laughs> what the heck were they doing there? Well, in their own sense, I guess everyone's having fun. I mean, they got to ride up Rainbow Express, and Howdy is yelling stuff, I don't know why. And that's it! That's the game. The, it just ends here. So, this is Solomon signing off of... Eh? Nah, it's not done yet, viewers. Hey, Bo! Yeah, he's safe, and we get a little bit of an epilogue here, and... What do you mean there's a terrible problem? Wait a minute, he's the prince? I can't remember if I actually spoiled that or not. Or... Actually, I thought he told us already. Huh. I could have sworn he already said he was the prince, so I don't know if I spoiled it at any point or not, but I don't think I told, I don't think I said it, or, I really don't know. Huh. Well, it looks like the game goes on, because there's still stuff going on. So let's ride the cloud. Do the heavens above. So apparently Rainbow Land looks a lot like a giant monument of sugar. I mean, look at all the gumdrops on the ground. I'll have to say, the music is pretty nice. It's cheerful, for one thing. The Rainbow Theater, huh? Alright, well. What's going on, then? Uh, what's this? Oh. Well, of course we gotta listen to the prom. I mean, why would they introduce a prom at the very end and then not elaborate? Because as we all know, even though you've done the main objective of the game, there's still one or two other things you can do. Major things, anyway. Huh, well, I guess no one's come to visit Rainbow Land since, uh... You know, yeah, I mean, the rainbows were destroyed, so I suppose that's why. Oh? What's going on? Theater invitations, yeah! So here we start another part of the game. I'll go into a little more detail in a second. Yeah, so this is an invitation to the Rainbow Theater. Hand them out as gifts to all the hamsters we've met. Hint, hint, blue text, hint. Yeah, so basically the thing is, you remember all those hamsters we ran across throughout the game? Mainly the ones who had blue text, or even so, actual names? Um, this is where this element of the game comes in. We gotta go back and we gotta deliver invitations to all of them. So, that's gonna be a little bit of a headache, but there's 40 invitations, so it shouldn't take, well, it'll actually take quite a bit of time, but it shouldn't take as long as it did for the color ingredients, if done right, so, okay, let's do it. And, uh, as Bo was saying there, um, now that we've fixed the rainbow, there's also other areas we can visit now, so, we get to do all that in later. And the rainbow art in the clubhouse was finished, so we'll have to take a look at that in a moment. So now we, if we want, we can explore Rainbow Land, but, well, yeah, okay, let's take a look around. Escalator going up. Ding, top floor. So this number here tells you how many people you've invited. When that hits 40, we are going to have quite a ball. Alright, so, oh, we have a store here. What do you know? I totally didn't realize there was a store here. Alright, well, let's see what the what she has. 
Picture 24, nearly identical. Alright. Well, let's just buy up all our stuff. And just get whatever we want. More music notes. Yep. Let's get the crowns. Oh, apparently it's a royal cachet. And one with a... <laughs> okay, I have to admit, these are kind of funny stickers. Alright, so, there's the on-sale items. We'll have to try to find the, uh, thing later. Well, let's take a look around Rainbow Land while we're here, I guess. You know, I, I guess I, we could take a look around. What's over here? Oh, a bunch of posters for the theater. I think most of these areas actually are, uh, waiting areas. If you, uh, as you record, uh, as you invite the people to the party, Hold on, can I check this little uh, waste basket? No, I cannot. As you, uh, invite them, I think they'll appear in these side areas, so... Yeah. I can't really say I know what I'm doing at this point, though, because this is about the point where, when I first played the game, I stopped playing, so... There you go. And now we can get up on stage. Yay! We're the stars of the show! But no. But yeah, so, again, 40 invites, 40 hamsters scattered throughout the seven areas, plus some of the extra areas we've unlocked now that we've, uh, rescued the rainbows, but we'll cover those side areas later. For now, let's take the, uh, cloud back down so we can take the train ride. Back to, uh, well, somewhere we can go. So, the way I'm gonna go about, um, doing the remainder, eh, the remainder of the game, Basically, off-screen, I'm going to be, uh, working ahead. I'll get a system down so I don't have to backtrack that much. I'll show off any areas in the main areas I didn't show before. Uh, sure, let's go to the Ham Ham's lawn, why not? And basically, um, I'll try to do my best to, uh, find as linear a path as possible and show as much as I can of what before. Try to show off any more stickers I've missed, um, off-screen maybe even try to figure out some of those maps, and obviously map out the best route for, uh, doing the invitation, so I'll be doing all that off-screen, and hopefully this series will be done soon. We've done the main story, but we still got quite a bit to do, as you've seen already. And, as I may have forgot to mention here, um... We now have these trains all over the place. There's a rainbow like this in, uh, Sunny Shore, and... Oh, yeah, Jingle's here, by the way. Um... Oh, we get a present from the tree. Oh, walnut. All right. Yeah. Or, and you won't get stickers or points. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe from time to time, if you don't have a walnut, you can come here to Jingle, and he'll give you a new walnut. I don't know. What's the news we have to say? But yeah, here's the thing. Now that we beat the game, we can select our party. We can select up to seven. Uh, Ham Taro's always in the crew, but you can select up to seven of all the characters you have. So, yeah, you can basically choose your party and go wherever you want now. This is truly free reign over the entire world now, so that's really nice. And this, uh, really isn't a... this party I selected, it, for now it's just really something to show off the feature. It's nothing major, so let's check out the rainbow art. Something's written on it? Oh, well you can press select at any time to go back to the clubhouse. You can talk to Snoozer, to select the ham hams, and come visit Rainbow Land. Okay, well, uh, what a shameless plug, but next time we're gonna start exploring, seeing all that we can see. Starting with Sunny Peak. This is Solomon, signing off. Have a good day.